hello friends welcome to my video again uh, today right now I'm going to show it to you how to install open SSH server onto Linux operating system but before that I would like to explain that why do we need to install open SSH server it's because say for example someday you need this terminal to be shared over the uh, network or over the internet fine then open SSH server is by which you can uh, fire the commands in this PC, install a lot of things, do a lot of programming uh, and all the things that you require. It's just something the same as Telnet in Windows operating system. But uh, in Windows, Telnet is used to uh, share disk operating system that is command prompt. Fine. But in Linux, you are going to use, uh, if you install OpenSSH server, you can access it by putty from windows or by command prompt from linux i'm going to show it to you from uh, linux itself fine so let's install it fine so let's begin with sudo apt-get update because uh, to update my repository it is mandatory fine uh, all the packages before getting installed over to your uh, operating system you just need to update your program or operate update your operating system meanwhile it gets updated I'm just going to pause it for a minute or something like that okay no need to pause it right now because I think it's already getting updated Fine. let's see just a minute hmm. also uh, now Clearing the screen to make it sure sudo apt-get install open ssh server this is the command by which you can install open ssh server you can also install it by ubuntu software center also fine but i would recommend it not to go by this manner uh, go for command prompt fine let's see uh, what it says uh, it's going to get approximately 1 MB of data uh, from the internet and then it will extract it, install it and additional space will be approximately 5 MB of data will be stored on my hard drive. Uh, you can see over here the entire methods are getting uh, from the internet. Now it's unpacking and installing over my Ubuntu operating system and then it's done almost. Hmm. Okay, so it's done over here. Fine, but uh, I need all. I need to show it to you in a demo version also. So for you people, I have also started my virtual box, and in that I have also installed my Ubuntu in previous videos. If you want to watch it, please do watch how to install Ubuntu operating system on virtual box. Fine, but for you people, for testing purpose. I have installed it and also opened it over the terminal itself. Let me show it to you. This is my virtual box that I have installed it. The another OS. Say for example, this is an another PC over your uh, network. Fine, and you need to share this uh, uh, share this terminal. Fine, in this uh, new PC. Then how you can do it? say for example I'm going to for terminal fine for that I need IP address of this PC fine for uh, for right now uh, and also let me show you the IP addresses of both the PCs fine the IP address for this PC is 10.0.2.15 and the IP address of uh, this PC is uh, 192.1 uh, 168.1.102 right now so let's go ahead and do some operations first you can see that this is an another PC fine uh, running over my virtual box and this is my host PC and this is my guest PC fine uh, I can ping it first 192.168.1.102 if not mistaken okay so here you can see uh, the ping is getting reached to my host PC so how do I connect it fine SSH uh, is the command for connecting it and uh, also um, 
the username is dia at the rate 192.168.1.102 um, sorry if it's uh, 1.102 or something else yeah 1.102 and i'm pressing enter it says that authentication key has ca cannot be established and everything like that just press yes for connecting it don't worry about it okay so you need to type yes instead of y fine uh, it says warning that permanent uh, uh, list has been added Does, doesn't matter type the password for the this pc which you want to connect it by your uh, username so here you can see entire thing has been connected now if you type ls command this ls command is for the host pc which i have connected it right now fine by the same mean you can also install putty on windows operating system fine um, in that you can type a host name as 192.168.1.102 or the ip addresses that you your actual operating system possess it and the username and password fine and then you if you uh, click on connect it will directly get connected to your host pc fine um, if you are having any doubt please do comment me on the video Thank you for watching. Thanks a lot.